We say we support, but we don't support. People want to know, oh, Mary, why are you going after Mary? Why ain't nobody asking Mary why she went after me? I was a Mary J. Blige fan, just like all of you. I was in a lot of the studios where a lot of her records were written and recorded. <laughs> Shoot, some of Mary's stuff I heard before she did. Me and Mary J. Blige have the same producer that we work with. Chucky Thompson. Well, she don't work with Chucky no more because I guess Puff told her that she couldn't. You know, Chucky Thompson gave her the best music she ever had and she stopped using him. Even though it's his work that made her famous. See, don't nobody ask those questions. Don't nobody ask why Easy Mo B didn't do more tracks for Mary. Because Puff was in control. P. Diddy, Honeycomb, was in control. Mary J. Blige has turned her back on almost everybody that's ever cared about her, ever loved her. Her and her sister, Latanya, Latoya, whatever the fucking bitch name. They're awful people. Y'all just don't know it. Because you believe what their publicist tells you. Why are y'all mad at me? Because you'd rather believe their lies than believe the actual truth. She's a whole gay woman. She's been gay ever since her and KC ended it. And everybody knows it. So why is she still in the closet? LGBT, why is she still in the closet? In this day and age, if you are living on the down low, you just want to be a liar. That's why I came out. I didn't have to come out. And truth is, anybody who really knows me or really paid attention to me should have known I was a bisexual woman. If you didn't know, it's because you didn't want to know. So I came out. I actually had to call a few of my out and proud friends and apologize to them for not owning who I was even with them. See, I had an image to uphold. What image? This is my image. This is me. I'm a person just like y'all. I am real just like y'all. Matter of fact, I'm probably realer than most. Sweeter than most. But how would you know? I guess people don't watch all of the interview when they watch interviews. Yeah, Diddy is a shepherd for the devil. I'm sorry, I was talking to YouTube. I got a um. Everybody told me he was a shepherd for the devil. And I seen it for myself. Y'all want to know how divisive Sean Combs, Honey Combs is? Go talk to Father MC. And ask him how he feels about the, the love of his life being, being stomped to death. And all Puff wanted to do was keep it quiet so nobody knew that he was responsible because he didn't have the appropriate motherfucking goddamn permits to do half of the shows he was doing at Howard. Just to get by. Just to get by. And he got by. He got, he got all the way to the top. He got by everybody. And what most people don't know is he used Mary J. Blige to compromise a lot of people. Y'all seen all the documentaries? Oh, Mary went out. And Mary Mary got all of the rappers. All of the rappers who were taken advantage of. All of the rappers who got very unfair contracts. She, she sent them to him. She's no different than a procure for a pedophile. If you'll go out and get a bunch of talented artists and know that you're bringing them to a situation that is not going to be advantageous for them, not only... Are you um, a betrayer of art? But you're a betrayer of humanity. But then again, she do anything just to get by. Mary J. Blige don't write them songs. Somebody else is getting that check. Mary J. Blige don't produce no records. Somebody else is getting that check. That means Mary only got a few ways to make money. We know she ain't no real singer. So she needs the production to support her, to make her look good. So all she is, is a celebrity. That's all she is. 